Hello guys, today I am going to introduce one more concept what is a damn number? A damn numbers like that question so many interviewers are the asking recently. That's why I am going to prepare this video for you. So you have to understood what is the a damn number. A damn number is the very simple concept a number which is reverse a square and same number a number which is a square reverse both are the same that is called a damn numbers so i think you are not understood so i am going to take one uh, example like that for example you are taking one numbers n equal to 12 so you reverse this numbers yeah you, we can say that ki square this numbers s q u a r e a square this number is 144 right now a square this number is 144 and uh, this a square will be reverse reverse is how much reverse is 441 four, 441 four, that's it and uh, same numbers you have to first reverse i mean one two so first reverse r e v reverse first this number reverse is two one okay two one now we have to square this numbers a square a square of this number is definitely four four one so these numbers and also these numbers is same that's why we can say that these 12 are the adam numbers okay so let us continue and i am going to represent these all these other things in one for the question i am taking one uh, classes for java and i am going to introduce a damn numbers a damn numbers okay and i am just save this and uh, numbers okay so first of all you have to require two things uh, because you have to do lots of the times you taking so first of all you make two function for the squares and reverse so you already know how to squares squares and then after returns so public statics First, I am taking the one a square function a statics int a square a squares and these squares function will be taken one value. What value? Int n whatever you pass, it will be a squares and return you return u n multiple n. That's it. Now I am going to taking one more functions public statics in for reverse 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 those numbers so this reverse will be taken also one number whatever you pass here and it will be reverse these numbers so I am going to take one rev equal to zero variables and while you already know you already know how to reverse the numbers so that's why i am going to first how to reverse these numbers take these numbers and just reverse equal to reverse multiply 10 plus remainders and modulo division 10 and one more things you have to n like that so you are prepared to function for reverse and also for the squares and return these values rev that's it 
your function will be completed your two function will be completed so i am next i am going to take the numbers these are the main function these are the main function i am going to take one as scanners for taking the value through the users so you have to take first import this package import java dot util dot come back in your main function and create what a scanner class a scanner sc equal to new scanners system dot in okay now you have to do tick one value in n equal to sc dot next int i am not going to print anything okay yeah we are coding a standards system dot out dot print ln we can say that also enter numbers if you enter numbers you can store these numbers and just create two more variables int p comma m why because you have to do two things first a square then reverse and first reverse then a square so i am going to taking this numbers and store this value p equal to m equal to n same value no problem no problem okay now i am going to taking first step first step for the doing the first step is my first step is my first step is so first is first of all you have to do like that what you have to do like that first of all call the p p equal to a square s q u a r e squares of p and return value store also p again call p equal to reverse reverse and again pass this p and store in the p my first work is completed second step second step is you have to call the m functions for the first reverse you are first doing what A square so first do the reverse and here you are passing first time what value p value also no problems whatever you pass it's good okay <laughs> and just take reverse reverse and pass the m value and the m equal to a square u a r e squares and pass the m value that's it if both are same and finally you compares if m equal to equal to p so that so that a damn number otherwise otherwise matlab else i don't want to take system dot out dot print ln not Adam numbers. That's it. So you get this code. Okay. One problem is line number eighteen. You have to find out like that illegal line in of the characters. Line number eighteen. Just go. Line number eighteen. No problem. You are not terminated correctly. So terminate this correctly. And uh, he asking. to use some hello if you are executed for example you are enter 2 it's a add on numbers 
if you are enters one three atom numbers if you are enters three fours not atom numbers if you are enter four five not atom numbers if you are enter one four not atom numbers if you are enter one five not atom numbers if you are enter one six also so many testing case we can perform so i hope you like this video and thank you so much thank you so much these are the code for the source code whole code you can take in this okay no problems i am going to scroll one by one if you want this code i will put in your uh, put also okay thank you so much